Some things just shouldn't be trademarked. But I mean, people manage to trademark my favorite fruit, so who am I to talk? Anyway, we are here so I can give you useless information about why you can trademark colors like they're your intellectual property. Well, in 1946, people were stopping Nazi-ing, but they still wasted all their money on stuff they didn't need. So naturally, capitalism was booming. Also, in 1946, corporations wanted to be able to protect their identities, so they did get ripped off like any old scum, and eventually the Lanham Act was passed. The Lanham Act allowed companies to trademark their brand name, logo, and unintentionally, color. So you might be thinking, can I just trademark the color red and sue anybody who uses it? Well, three things. You can only trademark one specific hex, such as 1DBEDE for a baby blue, or C29313 for the most ugly color ever. Next, you have to go to the court and waste a bunch of time proving this color is an icon of your business. And people could still use that color as long as they didn't sell it or use it for commercial use, such as in this video or a movie. Some companies, such as Tiffany & Co. and Target, have trademark colors such as Tiffany Blue and Target Red. And you might be thinking, hey, you just showed a trademark color in a commercial video. Well, shame on you, Luthers, because I changed them slightly, and you should be ashamed.